I love that little machine. I was gifted this machine because I bought a, a auto harp off somebody. And I just love the sound of this little xylophone. It makes little, little... Sounds like Christmas bells. But anyway, let's, let's begin. Oh, and my little friend. <laughs> okay, now um, I was speaking to you a bit on the computer camera about um, how we, um, we're going to take our little shirt and it's all sewed on with the thread now and we're going to put our beads black beads and we're going to outline with the black beads all the way around your little shirt now <clears throat> let's see if we can get this point this camera down a bit so that um, you can see my my workspace here better and it not won't be pointed at so much at me anymore oh and there we are look at that and here's your little thing you're going to be working on. This stops your beads from sliding all over the place. I just love this thing. And thanks to a, a woman that uh, went out and found it for us. She'll never know how much she is appreciated until I see her again. But anyway, let's start beading. Some of you talk about this, how you like to, how much beads to use on this. Now, um... I like to use, I can go anywhere from four to six beads on a string. It just depends on what you feel comfortable with using. And because it's such a teeny little shirt, I'm just going to use four. Now, uh, when I left the center, my wick went on, on uh, Thursday there, I, did, I took orange beads, but I neglected to take black beads. And these little black beads I bought they're um i just i thought i'd try them they're out of um um dollar store you know sometimes the dollar ramp that's the name of the place and sometimes if you're lucky they're all uniform but um i was not so lucky this time there are some that are different shapes but that's all right it's just showing us how to um we're outlining anyway and if you make again if there's any mistakes, it can be fixed readily. So that's all we're going to do with the black. We're just going to go up one side of the t-shirt and we're going to outline it all. Now notice how I'm coming to the top part here. I don't think that's going to take um, six, so use your discretion. Maybe it's going to take four. Let's try four. maybe it will take six five and six let's try it let's try it let's see if it works yep I think it is no maybe five I'll pull one off so now I'm going to take those five and I'm going to tack it down and pull it tight and then I'm going to come halfway up and I'm going to run through two of them. Put the needle through two. And now we'll start going down the neck. We'll make that little area for the neck. One, two, I'm going to try three. Maybe we'll see if three will work. And there, three will work. Take three, go right to the point where the neck is, and then you're going to come up in the middle. Since I only put three on, we'll, we'll go through two of them. One, two. And now we're going to come up this side. One, two, and three. Pull it down to the end of your thread. Make it go up the other side of the neckline. Tack it down. And then come back up. Halfway. And go through two. One, two. 
and then here we come to the edge of the shirt again so we're going to go we're going to go across the top here and how many did we use one two three four one no was it five let's see two four these are like i said they're oddly shaped beads sometimes you use four and sometimes you use five Oh, I might even have to use less there. I'm going to take four off. One, two, three, four. So yes, if you can at all, try and get beads that are the same size. I know you can purchase them at Michael's, but, but even there you kind of have to watch them to make sure that they're the right kind. All right, now I'm going to go down here. So you see, it moves along fairly fast. And then we'll, I'll, I'll, st I'll keep going, you keep beating, and then I'll touch base in a few minutes when I get down to the other end. Okay, friends, I'm, um, I'm getting close to outlining my black t-shirt here. Or my <laughs> outlining my t-shirt in black. So, see how the it's coming? Just follow those lines straight up, just like it was a you know a regular shirt that uh, is being done. I see I'm running out of thread here too, so I don't know. Maybe I better tie off and uh, add some more thread. I'll do that. Okay, people, I'm getting close to finishing it. Just a little wee bit more here. And then I'll have my black all done. One, two, three, maybe three. Let's see if three works. Oh, look at that. Need one more. Four. And that should be the end of that. Pull it through, all the way through. One, two, three, four. Done. And then come up halfway and go through two. One, two. And tap down. Okay, so now you know what that means, don't you? Now we're going to start adding in the orange color. So let's get rid of our black because we don't need black on our beading mat anymore. And we'll put orange down here. Now, we'll stop this once again. See. Okay, so now we got our orange beads and we're going to take those orange beads and we're going to outline them all in here. So what I recommend, I'm going to tie mine off because I want to start at the bottom here. I'll show you where. So tying off where I, I finished putting my last black bead on and I'm going to tie off and knot it here at the end so it doesn't come right through and that should work okay so now what I want to do I'm going to I'm going to follow that line if you, you see a little blue line going straight up we're going to follow that line straight up so starting right in the corner there put your needle right through right in the corner this is where we're going to start and then we'll go straight to the top like that okay now I like these orange ones these weren't these orange ones are beautiful beads these ones all came from John bead one two three four five six I didn't bring any home from now so I'm using the orange that I had a little bit of orange I have left so see that you follow the the black line straight up straight up my friends and I'm working with six this time to speed it up for you 
and go down where the last bead, orange bead is. Pull it tight so that it's on. Then we're going to come back up half, come back through the back halfway, and we're going to attach down three. One, two, three. And again, it's your preference. If you prefer to work with four, do four. Come back down or down, then you would come up two. Just depends on the number you're working with. One, two, three, four, five, Follow the back line, tack it down on the last bead, go down, and then come up halfway, go through the back, and come up through there halfway, and then one, two, three, go back through three of them. One, two, three. Oh, here my daughter upstairs. She just got her strings she delivered from Amazon. So she's taking all her strings off and she's going to put them on the, the new violin. And then she's going to, she needs one string on her electric violin. And she's getting ready for this uh, festival. This festival, it's going to be um, between Cape and Sagin, and they're going to bring musicians together, and they're going to, I think she said the 25th. It'll be evening, and then they're going to play. I'm not exactly sure where right now, but I know, it, I, I guess the venue is going to be in Sagin here somewhere. So that, that will be kind of exciting in itself. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So she's getting ready to play some, uh, I think it's a Celtic song she's working on. But anyway, what you're going to do, you're going to keep going with all the orange beads and we're going to fill it all in. And then uh, I'm going to switch back to this one because uh, see how it's all filled in here? And maybe I'll do the rest all the way through here too. And then, uh, yeah. And then, uh, We'll come back again and we'll see how far he's got. See you in a bit. Okay, I'm starting to add the last few beads on the little orange shirt. One, two, three, four. Now I'm starting to work on the area right here, the arms, because I've got the middle part all filled in. So I put five on, I'll tack those down, so there's five on there, and then I'll come up in the middle, and then I'll go halfway through and uh, tack them right down. One, two, well not halfway, but that was only four I put on, so it was halfway. One, two, three, four, and I'll pull them just a little bit to tighten them up. Well, it looks like we might be able to put a full row here, so I'll make with six on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they fit in there just perfect, nice and tight. Okay, so down where the last bead is. Come up halfway. And go through. It helps if I bend the, the bit back a little too, so. One, two, 
three and go through those same one three again one two three pull a little bit tight so they're snug and then I'm going to start here on my last few rows for this one one two three four possibly five Put the five on. And where's that last bead end? Right there. We'll go down. And then come up halfway through the middle there. It, start, it goes pretty fast once you sit down there and um, Start counting and figuring out your stitches. So I'll look in here, I'll need, just measuring it with this one here too. There's two there, so I'll probably need one, two. I might, ah, let's see, one, two. We'll try that. Because uh, these, these beads are uniform and they're pretty, you know, they're pretty round. So two might work. Yeah, it is going to work. I thought I could squish three on there, but I don't think so. If I squish three on, it would be too tight. Now, this one I find when you're only adding two on, you don't have to really go back and tack. You can just leave it and start again here. So let's finish this little arm up here. Oh, one, one, two, three, four, five, possibly. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's see if that works. Okay, there, right there. See that? I put five on, and it's going to be too tight. So, I'll pull off. Let's pull off one. Will four fit in? Yep, four is going to work. And just perfectly. Go halfway, tack down the two, and then am I going to need one there, or should I leave it? That might even that might be it there. So now I'll go over and I'll finish this last little row. And then I'll show you what happens after that. Okay, now for the next step, we're going to uh, cut these little shirts out. There's two of them. And um, I want to leave a little bit of an edge to them so that we can do the, the edging. The edging of the beading that comes next. So just cut around, around the shape of your little shirt and see how there's a light edge around there? Something for you to sew your edging to. There's one. Cut out the second one. Okay, now there's two ways of doing this. I got my little chunk of leather here. I'm gonna cut out just enough for my one little shirt. I'll cut around them. Doesn't have to be perfect because it's all gonna be snipped off later anyway. So enough for one, and then let's cut another piece here. Can I fit one on there? 
Yes, I can. Sure, I can. I always save your scraps of leather because they can always be put to use somehow. Now, you also received in your bag these little things. That's the, the pin that you're um, going to attach this to. Now, there's like I said, there's two ways of doing this. You can either, it depends on you, what, what you like the best. I'm going to show you one way. Now I'm going to open it up <clears throat> so you get an idea what it looks like like that, right? And then, so, I'll put it on this one. Now we're going to, now that's your good side. I'll flip it over to the other side. And then I'm going to mark out where I want to cut some little holes in this thing to, um, to, um, to cut out there. And that's what I'll go through. Okay. I'm just going to turn that in half. And cut a little chunk there. And then I'll cut another little one on the other side. So now we got two spots there. And then we'll cut out just a little bit. But that can um, fit through. And then you'll see what happens here in a minute. Okay. So now I'm going to poke that through this one, and I'll poke the other end through that one. Then I'm just going to tack that down back in there. Oops, I missed it. Open that up and put it on there and close the pin. And then we're going to glue this down like so. So let's get our glue and we shall do that right now. And then it'll then it's kind of a waiting process. Now when you do the glue, try to um, keep your glue in the middle. Don't get your glue around near the sides there so on. Uh, you know what I'm, what I'm going to do? I'm even going to, I think I'll open this right up. And I'm just going to stick my finger in it. So I'll take a little bit of that glue. And we'll just put it on the side. And you know that will help too because as you see all your sewing there? That'll kind of tack the, the ends down and whatever. Okay, so that one's ready to go. Let's put that down. And we'll stick that right to the, the shirt. And now the other one. The other one, I'll show you a different method. just put that one away till it dries. I'll put them down here. And then this one, you can do it this way. Just depends on what type of, um, how finished you want it to look. But you have to, um, for example, this one, we're not going to glue it on till after either, but um, you get an idea where your your pin will go right. I'm going to go right down the middle there. Cut it was a, it's, this one's kind of too wide. To, or it may not be if you put it on where the arms are. 
Yeah, maybe I'll try where the arms are. And then, so that's where it's going to go, right there. And then we're just going to, you can do it this way to get it started. But the idea here, see that little dot I just made? You can come up through there. And we're just going to tack it down to the leather. I'll tack it down on that side, come up again, and tack it down on the other side. Now I want to come through to this one here come up underneath and we'll come up through the middle there and then come through the middle again and tack on the other side And then the last one, I'm going to flip it around so I can see it. And then you come up to the last one. Tack it down on one end. And then you go through here. You know what? <laughs> I came up on the other side. But you know what? It's not going to hurt to have a couple stitches. Why not? On the same side. But I want to come up on this side just because I want to tack it down there. And then... There, it's sewn on in this method. So, I'll tie that on. And we'll knot it on the inside. So you Make sure you tie a good knot. I always go with three or four times to make sure it doesn't come off. And then cut the ends off. And then same idea as the other one before. We are going to glue this on here. Okay. Mm -mm. I see one little knot. It has, it has a little bit of thread poking off here. There. So I'll take my finger and I'll pop it in there and then we'll just wipe it on top of all. Okay. And we're going to put the leather piece on top and kind of center it out there and there. So it's, um, we'll leave that one to dry also. And once it dries, we're going to cut off around here on the side and we'll begin the edging. And that will be your final step. Okay, now that the pin is finished, glued to the back, then you have it sticking out here, then we can go around and we can trim off the excess leather and a little bit of the 
white stuff. Just not, not too much. Leave an edge, remember? And after this, we can now uh, start our, our edging process. Now I'm going to with this one. I'm going to show you. Now, when you come to this part right here, you can cut down a little bit, but be careful. And we'll take a little, a little nip out of that, and then I think it's good. Okay, so now we're ready to start to do our black edging. And with this one here, <clears throat> I've got my um, black material ready to go. And we'll start here, but possibly on this side here. And I'm going to come up through this. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come around. I'm going to add on three beads. One, two, three. And this, this right there, the three beads. And this is so easy. So all you're going to do with this type is just come up again. Like a circle. You're making a circle. Put it through and pull. And then there's your first edging right there. Can you see it just come up and around? Okay, let's do And just follow through. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we do the same thing. I'll come up from the back. And you just follow where the, uh, the last uh, bead went in and then push it up and pull. And there, the second edging has been put in. So now that's all, that's all you do. Very simple. One, two, three. Okay, and we're getting a really nice edge to that now. See that? On the back might show up a little bit better. One, two, and three. Oh yeah, I like this how it's turning out. She's now in her third year at the University of Toronto with the hopes of becoming a doctor. She said she wants to change people's lives or at least make small steps on the way to do so. One, two, three. to adversity, but she wants parents to know this platform, the Brains Project, that when you put your kids in contact sports, you know, there are consequences. And so now the information is out there. And so you know what? Here. We're just going to keep going all the way around, all the way around, and right to the end till you get to the other side. And then we'll, uh, I'll, I'll come back and we'll see how you've done at the very end. Okay, now I hope you've had time, sufficient time to finish up. And there's the pin. It's all done. And all the way around the back. And then there's your pin on. There's your pin, how you can put it on the back and it should be able to open up from so. So I hope you enjoyed making this um, pin with me and um, good luck and post your, if you can, Take a picture and post it in the comments so that we can see what your pins turned out like. Bum up my friends. Always fun beating with sharing.